Hello, Luigi and Ides. This is Luigi X Rules, playing Minion Quest, The Search for Bowser. In the last episode, we actually did four missions here in... in Teehee Valley. Which, that's kind of surprising. But in this episode, we gotta find some kind of invincibility mushroom. I think I'm actually just gonna use the same setup that I got going currently, except with... Um... A couple of melee. Actually... Hang on, I have an idea. So, watch. When I add Sergeant Guy here, because as you can see, hang on, as you can see we have um, Corporal Paraplonk and Private Goop up there. So when I add Sergeant Guy, we get the Elite Trio. HP up 15% and Spirit up 10%. That's a pretty huge boost, for. but the catch is that it's likely that you're not going to get any other boosts from it. So we're gonna try this. We're gonna be level 20, which means we'll be on par with them. And we got a cutscene. What are you doing, Tim? Um. Yikes! I mean, um, thanks for rescuing me. I'm, I'm safe now. Thanks to you. Huh? Oh, right, the toad. You see, no, we didn't do it uh, do it to help you. Not by a long shot. We don't need your smelly gratitude either, so scram! I would whistle if I could whistle. Big talk, Cap. You show, sure showed that toad who's boss. Jeez, I don't even know how to feel right now. I know what you mean. Toads are despicable. They defy Lord Bowser. They help stupid Mario and stupider Luigi. I hate them so much. Every last one of them. Um. What do you want? We're busy here. If you have some business with us, spit it out in three seconds or less. How am I, you ask? I work at the arcade, arcade in Little Fungi Town. I came here to score some exciting new prizes. The rare invisibility mushroom can be found in a cave up ahead. That's the prize I want, but the... But that cave is too scary. Don't. Care. Stop. Talking. Bye now. Oh, what will I do? You know, if you go get it for me, I'll give you an amazing bean. A precious, priceless bean that will raise your EXP. With that, you'd be able to level up easy as pie. Stop following us, stop bribing us, and just generally leave us alone. Oh, deal. I accept your condition. Does that mean you'll get it for me? How many of those amazing beans will you give me if I do this? I'll double my offer. Two beans! No way! Give me seven! Three! Final offer! Make it five! You've got it! Thanks, buddy! We are not buddies. And once we're all squared, you'd better beat it. Deal! You beat it, you'll beat it, and I'll beat it. Eh. I have ten of those beans to spare, anyway. Wow. If I remember correctly, this... I remembered struggling with this mission. So anyway, we have a lot more spirit than we normally do, so theoretically we should get a lot more special attacks off. Alright, I'm gonna save my CP for if Captain Boo is special attacked. Because we got primarily flying. Unsurprisingly, Sergeant Guy is already out. I mean, he was underleveled to begin with, so... And he's ranged when it's primarily... Me melee here. Of course, now we got a single hammer, bro. Oh no, how difficult. These guys, I'm pretty sure, are quite tanky as well. Hmm. I probably should have denied that. Oh, wow! That's right, certain abilities will we'll make that happen. Or it'll knock them into other foes. Whatever, go ahead. I should be using my CP more, but I think we got a really good team for this. Ha. Ah. Alright, he's probably going to take care of those two. And now, that's right, type advantage. Type advantage. Die. Nope. Alright, he died anyway. You're probably gonna die anyway, too. Unsurprising. 
Like, nope. Gotcha. Alright, we defeated all the enemies, so let's go on. We've got the final battle up here. How can you sneak attack? Because then I won't have any denies. It's always worth waiting a bit if you're going to use something like... Ooh, whoops. Chance. Accuracy up. Yeah, I'd say that's one of the worst ones. That's how I used to think before I realized what exactly accuracy did. Because now, like, Sergeant Guy can actually hit his attacks against these guys now. That would have been useful if that Hammer Bro somehow got to Captain Boo. Also, you want to be careful about... Oh, well, that would have killed, but... Captain was already dead. Alright. No new troopers. Unsurprising, though. Okay, we guide the mushrooms in the deepest part of the cave. Hmm. I don't know which of these is the invincibility mushroom. What about the one that's, that's shining and glowing like it's a star? Why don't you do a taste test? No way, I refuse to eat anything that awful Mario enjoys. Hmm. Trying to decide. Ah, it's this one! The poison mushroom? This one looks coolest. And this? There! Now listen, you! Hand over the beans! And this is an invincibility mushroom! Wow! I've never seen one before! Thank you! Here, you really earned these five beans! Hmm. <laughs> Yay. I better not see your ugly face again! Stupid stinky toads! That's the way, Cap. Hmm? What way? Acting self-important is very Captain-like behavior. It is? Oh, I'll work on that. Now then, let's move out. Follow me. Invincibility Mushroom is something that Mario won for- Oh, finally! Jeez, it took you long enough, Captain Boo. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, so, the Invincibility Mushroom is a prize that, oh yeah, Gold Beanies are optional. That, the Invincibility Mushroom is a prize that Mario had obtained for winning something, but it had also, it was a prize that Mario had obtained for winning a minigame. It's the minigame that had Gino in the original. Um, but in this game, um, but, well, in this game, Gino isn't in here, but also, they decided to, hang on, what, what do we got here? Alright, um, Basically what happens is Mario eats the invincibility mushroom, but it looks like a poison mushroom, and that's why it looks like a poison mushroom. In the original game, Mario, it actually looked like a normal mushroom, from what I remember. But it was the excuse they used was that it was a local variety, so it hurt him, which I think makes a lot more sense than the... Which I think was very reasonable, and they didn't really have to correct that for this game. But... Right, it's kind of a ragtag group, but I think we should have some more melee. Oh cool, we got a lot of Goombas that are decent leveled. Alright. Yeah, let's just try that. We might not be able to win, because Gold Beanie, the Gold Beanie is quite powerful. Oh, I'm glad I didn't bring any Pokies. Oh, those are all spikes. Sorry, you two flying losers. Luckily, we have more spirit. I I gotta be sure to use this team a lot because I want to make sure that these three guys extend for a long time. Also, his attack, the spikes attack, is basically the same as the normal one or whatever, or the shy guys. Wow, I'm glad I didn't bring any more. I realistically didn't even need that. I could have probably even gotten by with zero flying troopers, if I'm going to be honest. But I wanted the 
flying thing. I could have probably removed the other Hooper paratrooper. Dude, that flying Hooper Ron is almost dead. Gotta wait for him to have his defense decreased while off screen. And wow, we are crushing it. This is so darn easy. Why is this so darn easy? Of course, now that I say that, this gold beanie is going to decimate us. Oh wow, there are a lot more flyings here. That's how they kind of throw you through a loop. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's the spirit. Literally. I remember that the gold beanie actually has quite good stats. I don't even if I would have died to the next attack anyway. As you can see, that super attack didn't even do that much damage. Did relatively low amounts of damage. You have super fire fury, but it didn't appear to do too much. You were gonna die anyway. Wow. You're not very strong, but accuracy's good. Alright. You're probably dead here. Yes. Nope, I have Denias for that purpose, you stupid gold beanie. Nice, we crushed that mission. I wonder why this has been so much easier than the other thing. Than the beach area so far. Like, we just blazed through six different missions, just like that. Now we have, um, the Lonely Koopa Troop and Icebergs Feel the Heat. Weak against why guys, and they just... But that's a higher level, so let's do the Lonely Koopa Troopa. These guys... Dry bones may show their bone structure, but where they know... Dry bones and weakness don't... These guys basically boomerang bros, they're good against... Basically don't use pokies, from what I'm getting. Don't use spear guys, or other spear-wielding enemies. Huh. No doubt that includes, but... There are some Koopa Troopas, so I might try to use those dry bones that we got. The question is, how much of each is there going to be? Uh, I don't know why I removed those two. Because I'd rather have the whole elite trio in. Here he is. Yeah, like that. See, I don't know how much of each there's going to be, though. It's about Koopa Troopas, I'd expect a lot of well, Koopa Troopas, so let's throw in another flying. Yeah, that should probably be okay. Let's go in here. Ah! Koopa Troopas! Hey! Ouch! What are you doing? Those aren't Koopa Troopas, Cap. I think they're this kingdom's version of Koopa Troopas. Ah, I see. Hmm? Looks like there's something growing on their heads. This Koopa Troopa fake is a real flake, make no mistake. Heh, <laughs> see what I did there? I rhymed stuff with other stuff. I mean, rhyming does require more than one thing, so I don't know why I had to specify it that way, but... <laughs> it just hits him again. Well, at least I abused myself. Captain Goomba, I must insist that you stop that. Immediately. That's fair. Alright, how many missions we have? They've been all three. Ooh, that's why we got a four. Hmm. I don't know why I thought that dry bones were so... Oh. No, that can't be why. Why did I think I needed dry bones so much in the last episode? Oh, that's right, they have the boomerang attack. Which theoretically pierces, but that did not seem to pierce at all. A lot of ranged in this mission. So, melee would probably be the way to go again. Captain Shy Guy is getting really underleveled, and I don't like that. Oh yeah, you gotta... Time the attacks so that each one is in the middle. It's a unique attack that only very few people get. I realized that I said I'd use Wendy and then I never ended up using Wendy. Wow. The annoying bros are strong. Alright. 
Well, that was the first mission. This one is strictly melee, so the flying troopers I brought should prosper. I have three range, which is a problem for this particular mission. As you can see, both my dry burns are already gone. The Captain Goom is not really meant to tank hits. None of these guys, none of my guys really seem to be made to tank hits. Uh-oh. I just gotta rely on their ability to beat him up quickly. Alright, there we go. Captain Goomba did it. And Corporal Parapunk finishes the mission. Not the same as Private Game. And now, we got Battle 3. Nice. We already defeated one of their guys. Okay, I think our team right now is built to go against ranged pretty well. Well, the battle's not going to end until you want to attack. But, of course, he's not going to take any damage because Captain's already dead. Alright. Maybe this is why I thought we needed so many. I don't... I really don't know why I thought we needed so many dry bones. Oh, whoops. Didn't realize that. Alright. Now, behold our minion spirit. Because this is the last mission. I like to conserve it. And stuff for the last mission. Yep. What you got? Call for backup? Ultimate Shell Shock! Go! Which will damage any non flying troopers and make them stun briefly. Okay. Dang it, it was in the middle of an attack, so. It was special skill, so that dry bones thing didn't do anything. Alright. Hey, buddies! Oh man, I was so lonely all by myself. I slipped in among the shells of this kingdom and tried not to stand out. I was all alone and unknown. Just the, just that, just the thought makes me want to groan. Like, uh... Well, your double life is over. Join us and we'll save Lord Bowser together. Yes, I'd love that. I'll, I'll do me best. I'll never rest. You'll be impressed. Like... But just so I know, is fighting in store or something more? Well, yes, there will be lots of fighting. But can I ask you something? What's with the rhymes? I mean, I love me some good rhymes, but even I know when to say when. Well, I've never fought with anyone but Mario, so I'm not too confident. Actually, I was in charge of cleaning at Bowser's castle. Since I'm a lover, not a fighter, I make rhymes make the mood lighter. That's sublime. It's always a good time to rhyme. In the beginning, all of the, this frightened even yours truly. But now I'm a top tier super captain, saving Lord Bowser one win at a time. He's complimenting himself again. Oh, I know! You can be a captain too! That's a surefire way to boost your confidence. Me, could it be? A captain? Well then. Yeah, I think. I'll give it a shot. If I'm a captain, good things will happen. Wait, you said good time to rhyme. Nice one! <laughs> it's a bit slow. And the wind blows at Cavi Cape, I guess. Is this guy's head screwed on right? Let's get cracking, or my lips just will keep on smacking. He's just excited. And hey, this will lighten things up. The Cooper Troop is in charge, living large. Best captain around from sky to ground. Right. Well, let's move along. And with that, we level up a bit. And he, Captain Goomba learned Clash of Captains. We have a new captain, Captain Koopa Troopa. Of course, it just has the description of a normal Koopa Troopa. Yeah, and with that, we recruited all types of Koopa Troopa minions. Now, um... Well, with that, we can actually just go on to the Toad Rescue. We can just skip Ice Bros, feel the heat as well. Uh, great. Magic Cooper Red. But of course, I'm not gonna skip it. In the next episode, I will be 
taking on Ice Bros, Feel the Heat, and Toad Rescue. You know, this area has been really short compared to the others. I mean, in total, it only has like nine levels compared to... Let me see, is that actually more than others? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, that doesn't really count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, it's just that the missions have been really easy here for some reason. But maybe that'll change with Toad Rescue. I mean, it is the next boss, and the bosses are oftentimes harder. But anyway, I'm not really sure if I'm stalling for time at this point or not. But that'll do it for this episode. The next time we'll take on Icebergs. I I just I've already said that. Uh, good goodbye.